Hello, my name is Brett from Blue Altitude. Today I'm going to give you a short presentation and we're going to talk about the Swiss cheese model versus the Blue Altitude cheddar cheese model. Now, working within the aviation industry for a number of years, human factors and applying the principles is very important in what we do. Things that may affect our performance, things that may affect our limitations or imposed limitations, and things that may affect our capability. Now, when we're involved in an incident or an accident, or when we investigate those aspects or those events that may happen, one model that we may use to help understand and maybe learn from those events is the Swiss cheese model. Uh, and that really is a means to understand the sequence of events that actually cause all the, the contributing factors that cause the actual event to happen. Now, on the flip chart here, you can see I've just tried to lay out a scenario that would demonstrate the Swiss cheese model. So firstly, if I go through that, and then I'll explain the, the Blue Altitude Cheddar Cheese model as we go. Now, those people who are not familiar with uh, Swiss cheese, I have a piece of Swiss cheese in my hand here that you may be able to see. I am not a lover of Swiss cheese. The reason for that is that a, there's holes in it, uh, and also, the second reason maybe is the smell, and the third reason is the texture. I do not like the feel or the touch of it. It's not very pleasant to eat, as far as I'm concerned. So for myself, I am not a Swiss cheese lover. So if you just look at the, the, uh, the flip chart, you can see I placed three pieces of Swiss cheese. Each or all pieces of Swiss cheese has a hole in it. You can see I'm using a steel pole to signify that all the holes for the, each piece of Swiss cheese have been aligned. So therefore, when we talk about the event, you can move through each piece of, of the cheese, which I'll do shortly. So to help you understand what the event is as the example, I've, the event is, I've, to, to try and describe that, is I got up late and I crashed my car on the way to work. So you can see here, the start of it, I got up late, and the outcome really is I crashed my vehicle or I had an accident in my car. And you can see here, each piece of this Swiss cheese is uh, uh, one of the, the uh, sequence of events really that actually led to me having crashed my car. So, if I first explain what event number one could be, for example, I could say that could be related to distract, uh, not distraction, yeah, uh, pressure. Let's say it was pressure. So, for example, if I got up late, then therefore I'd feel under pressure to try and make up time to get out of the house on time. So therefore, it would be part of my normal behaviour uh, and so on. So the first one would be pressure. The next one, now imagine I'm now in my vehicle driving to work. You can think about it, I'm worried about being late, getting to work, uh, concerned. And therefore, my head, in my headspace, I would actually be distracted. So therefore, I am now obviously distracted. Next one, number three, would be, if you think about it, I am under pressure, distracted. I've got to make up that time because I left my house late, not on time. Therefore, I tend to maybe take a shortcut. So the shortcut really would be I would speed my, in my vehicle. And so therefore, you can imagine now, all these three contributing factors would cause me to have the accidents, hence the mold being aligned. Now, the way to try and mitigate that, really, is I can introduce my cheddar cheese model now. So, I've just explained to you what the, uh, the Swiss cheese model is. And what is, I've got a piece of here in my hand, I've got a piece of what we call blue altitude cheddar cheese. Now, you can see in this piece of cheese in my hand, there are no holes. And I am a lover of cheddar cheese. One for the taste, two for the te texture and the smell I do like. So therefore, I'm a big fan of cheddar cheese. So, if I just place my cheddar cheese on my flip chart here, for example, uh, and then I just align it, and therefore, let's just say that what I want to try and do, I want to try and break the sequence of events. So I'm going to use my cheddar cheese model, so I just basically put a piece of cheddar cheese. If I place it there, then Ideally, that would actually break the sequence of events. 
Uh, and the way to do that as an example, so if I just recap on this, the Swiss cheese scenario, I was under pressure, I was distracted, and I was going to take a shortcut. Well, the way I could break that sequence of events quite quickly, really, is once I've realised I've got up late, yes, I am under pressure, however, what I can do, I can just really, this piece of cheddar cheese represents what I could do, is actually I could make a phone call. So, I'm going to mean by, what I mean by a phone call, I could actually call my workplace and tell them I'm going to be late. And in doing so, that just alleviates all the pressure, therefore I would not be distracted and there would no, be, no need to rush or speed to work or be aggressive in my behaviour and so on. So you can see there by applying that simple method of a cheddar cheese approach, it's more, it's better and beneficial to, to, to do that. Now, the difference between maybe, the way to try you to think about this, is that this cheddar cheese approach is more about being proactive, not reactive. Because in this stuff, sometimes we're reacting as we go along, where this one is more about preventative and that changing way our behaviour. So that's it really, in, a, in a, like a nutshell. What you need to think about as well, when we talk about human factors and maybe using or applying the Swiss cheese principles and the cheddar cheese, I am sure, I feel quite confident that you would be able to apply that method to a lot of things and be more of a, have a, more of a cheddar cheese approach. The also the other important things to think about is the Swiss cheese and also this cheddar cheese approach it's just not aviation specific. You can apply it into other uh, working practices or other places of work quite easily. Uh, as you can imagine, we are posting this uh, video on YouTube, so I'd be grateful if you have any sort of feedback or comments, then please do so. Likewise, if you have a way to try and plant it to different other than aviation, then please put on the, on the feed. Uh, I look forward to receiving your comments. Thank you. Thanks for your time today. Hope it's been of interest.